What's up guys, it's Travis. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about Sovereign and what they have coming up in these next couple of months. Now, in my opinion right now, Sovereign is significantly undervalued. And in today's video, I wanna to explain to you guys why I think that is. So if that sounds good to you guys and you get value from today's video, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. Let's jump right into it. All right, so jumping right into CoinGecko, we can see that the sovereign price is right now at five dollars and sixty cents the market cap is at 116 million dollars for the total amount of tokens that are released right now which is i think right around 20 percent or a little more um the fully diluted market cap is at 560 million dollars because there's a total of 100 million tokens for sovereign now there's a few other projects out there right now that are trying to bring DeFi over to Bitcoin. And so in a future video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys why I think Sovereign has such a big advantage over these other projects. Um, but like I said, that's for another video because I really want to focus today on what's happening with Sovereign in these next couple of months. So now that we can clearly see that Sovereign is significantly sold off right now and may not be a bad time to buy, not financial advice. Now let's head on over to some of the PowerPoints that the team has put together so that people can understand and see what's about to happen. Full disclosure, I got these slides from an existing YouTube video from the Sovereign team themselves that they use to help market and show other people what's going on with the Sovereign project. So here is the roadmap for Sovereign of what is launched and what is coming. So we have the fast peg in, there's core DeFi apps, cross chain bridges, the governance system, data services, first ecosystem dApps. They really wanted to focus on laying the groundwork on Sovereign before they started to do a lot of the marketing and before they start to announce projects that are coming onto the Sovereign dApp. Because they believe, as well as myself, that having a strong fundamental base to build everything off of is so important. And so that's really what they've been laying for the last year. And they're doing a really solid job at delivering according to what their roadmap is said. So what is upcoming? They have bi-directional fast peg. So what this means is instead of having to buy Bitcoin, send it over to an exchange, sell it for RBTC, and then send the RBTC into the Sovereign dApp in order to use it and use Sovereign, we can now do that directly on the Sovereign dApp without having to send that into an exchange. And this just means that now we can bypass the centralized exchanges and do this directly with our wallets. So this is really, really cool. They have perpetual swaps coming, BTC lending at scale, the expansive scaling of the AMMs, Lightning Network integration, ZK rollup scalabilities, which is also gonna be huge on Ethereum. But the fact that they're bringing this over to Bitcoin, in my opinion, is so, so cool. As we know, ZK rollups are zero knowledge proofs. And so basically what this means is that you can bypass the fees like Ethereum with IMX, all of this is off chain and then brought back on chain. So you don't have all of those fees while it's off chain. The only fees that happen is when it comes back on chain. And so I think that's really cool that they're bringing this over to Bitcoin and they're using RSK and the Bitcoin miners in order to verify this. So as this development increases, so will the adoption, the marketing and everything else like that for Sovereign, which will be good for all the Sovereign token holders because as the marketing and the push gets out there, there's gonna be more people that are gonna realize how undervalued Sovereign is and what's happening with Sovereign and Bitcoin right now, the largest cryptocurrency. This is gonna be huge. Now, here's another thing that I really like to look at when it comes to projects and the overall growth of what's happening on the projects. So this is what's happening on the Sovereign dApp right now and the total protocol growth metrics. So we have the AMM total value locked is $162 million. The cumulative fees that are generated by the protocol right now is at over $3 million. The cumulative trading volume in USD is also going up. It's roughly at $1.5 million. And on top of this, the monthly active users is on a steady incline with right now sitting at 14,000 monthly users. This is really important when it comes to taking a look at a project. And even when the token is going down, everything else is going up. So just for buying and staking the sovereign token, you can earn passive income from the protocol because it's like a DAO. You're earning fees that are created from the protocol. And as the protocol grows, the more fees you get 
as the owner of part of the protocol. So this is really good and really healthy to see that Sovereign is growing at this pace and at this scale. No matter what the token price is doing, this is just allowing us to get in at cheaper prices in order to earn more passive income. Now here's the Sovereign's ecosystem and shows us how much Sovereign has grown already. We have the Sovereign Origin Launchpad and the bridges that go along with it. Right now, Sovereign is able to bridge with Ethereum and the Binance chain and has several different projects that are built on top of it. Then we have these big investors like KuCoin, Ascendex, Uniswap, Pomp Investments. There's a lot of investors and there will be a lot more coming in the near future. Then we have partnerships with RSK, Ledger, Akash, which you guys also know I'm super big on, MetaMask, um, Strike, API3, My Crypto Wallet, Trezor. Um, there's a lot of really cool partnerships here that really help to bring value over to the Sovereign's ecosystem because Sovereign and the developers understand that it's not all about Sovereign. That's not the point of Sovereign. Sovereign is about bringing great projects and great ideas over to Bitcoin and bridging that through the Sovereign's DAP. So by leveraging these awesome projects and these really great protocols, Sovereign is able to bring that over to Bitcoin and allow us as investors and users to get the most out of our Bitcoin. Really, really cool stuff. Now, as far as the competitive environment goes for Sovereign, compared to these other DeFi projects that are happening on Bitcoin, there's Liquid, Centralized Finance, Stacks. None of these compare to Sovereign and are not growing at nearly the same rate as the Sovereign developers and the overall protocol. Sovereign's development speed beats any of these other Bitcoin DeFi projects out of the water. And its pace is comparable to Ethereum's, but it's Bitcoin native. It's secured by Bitcoin proof of work, low user friction when using Bitcoin, no competing cryptocurrency, Bitcoin ecosystem interoperability, it's trust minimized. There's a lot of really good benefits that come with using Bitcoin and no KYC compared to Ethereum where there's a lot of like changes that are happening right now with staking and stuff that makes Ethereum potentially less secure. And in my opinion, I think it's really important to realize that Bitcoin is the asset. Sovereign is not, but Sovereign allows us to use the asset in the best way that we can. Ethereum, as it grows, seems to have more and more difficulties with this because fees are getting more expensive and pretty much no one is really able to use Ethereum right now. And that's why Ethereum is really trying to push out 2.0, zero knowledge proofs and things like this. But if Bitcoin is already the number one cryptocurrency asset as, as far as the store of value goes, then I think it's also really important and really interesting that we also have the speed of development that's happening right now on Bitcoin. This is really big. Now, lastly, I want to share with you guys what's about to happen with Sovereign. Now, these are rough estimates right now when it comes to the date. Um, Aurora has said that these might change just a little bit on how development goes and everything like this, but this is a rough idea of when these things are going to be released. February 1st, we have the two-way fast BTC, which means that we'll now be able to transfer Bitcoin to our BTC on Sovereign's DAP instead of having to go through a centralized exchange. Second, we have the Mint airdrop with the rewards page update. And this Mint airdrop also goes to Sovereign stakers. February 14th, we have a trading competition with perpetual swaps on Sovereign Labs. And I believe Aurora said that this is gonna be happening actually on the Binance chain and you don't have to use your own funds in order to trade. And she said that she believes there's gonna be a total of three winners for second and third with a total prize pool of about $10,000 worth of SOV tokens. So that's pretty cool too if you guys like to trade. And on March 1st, we have the perpetual swaps live on mainnet. So as you guys can see, they're really pushing out a lot of these great products that Sovereign's now gonna be able to use. And for its UI, this is also really great for us. So that's pretty much all I have for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you were able to get some sort of value. If you did, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. As always, guys, be aware of scams. Do not respond to anyone who DMs you first. And also make sure that you guys are clicking on the right Sovereign token when it comes to CoinGecko because there are several projects that are trying to pretend to be the actual Sovereign token, and they are not. So beware of scammers, guys. And as always, I will be seeing you guys in the upcoming episode. Take it easy, guys.